Uh, when I was in high school, I was hit twice. And being blind and low vision, I would have a teammate kind of help guide me when we would be out on our runs. And so the first time we were running across uh, an intersection and somebody was pulling up to take a right turn. And of course, when they were pulling up, they didn't see us in time and kind of drove right in front of us and kind of sideswiped us a little bit. It was a little nerve wracking, um, but it wasn't too bad. But then the second time that I was hit, we were coming up to a T intersection. And as I you know, ran out into the street, there was somebody who was taking a right turn, but they were looking left. And I was coming from the right. And he looked left, didn't see anybody, so he hit the gas. And I was right in front of his car. And so I, I rolled up onto the hood and then kind of came off. And uh, the teammate that I was running with, you know, he looked back and he was like getting ready to, you know, yell at the guy or whatever. And in the moment, there's so much adrenaline that you're like, no, like, let's just keep going. And don't worry about it, right? But then, you know, you're looking back, I could have gotten seriously hurt. Uh, he could have pushed me out into more traffic. But I think what's, you know, important is to realize that when you are running or when you're walking or whatever, these people, they're not looking for pedestrians sometimes. And, you know, as somebody who's blind, when you're out running, you gotta be almost hyper aware to the traffic and even if you're walking with your cane, you wanna make sure that you have it out and that it's you know in the open so people are able to see that. And I was hitting the daylight. So when you're running at night or you're walking around at night, you even have more you know likelihood of getting hit. You guys are doing light up canes, which I think is amazing because I'm not gonna start stop running because I got hit by a car. How do we prevent that from happening again? You gotta do something that's gonna help make a change. And so I guess, like you're saying, that's what we're trying to build awareness is, this is happening, it's happening to people, it's happening to blind people. What are we gonna start implementing that can you know, limit the amount of times this is happening? Exactly.